Well, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And I know that's been a little bit, sorry about that, but of course Chantal wants to have a mental breakdown on her community tab, and I'm going back to Kuwait, da 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 da, so I guess we'll see what happens with that one. <laughs> but in the meantime, I thought, let's go ahead and watch Ambi Girl, because it's been a little bit, there's, you know, been talks about maybe a new girlfriend, and um, apparently a few days ago she uploaded what she eats on a cheat day. So, I guess without any further ado, let's see what Amber has to say today, shall we? Video. So today I'm going to be filming a what I ate today video. So my goal usually is to stay below 2000 calories, but what has been helping me personally from overeating or just giving up in general, instead of like having a standard cheat day where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I absolutely wanted. And then that would spiral me for weeks and I could not get back on track. So what I do now instead, which I've done twice already and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet. I am still losing weight and I'm feeling really, really good. So what I've Which, been- Good for her, but like at the same time, I feel like everybody kind of wishes that she would just get some mental help, health. Yeah, is that right? Anyway, well, you guys know what I mean, but just like help instead of like trying to DIY and this and that and the other because her and Chantal really like to just want to be like icons of like weight loss and this and that and be like a beacon of hope for everybody but like at the same time they really don't want to put in the effort to try to work past it and say they want to do it themselves and they ultimately fail at that. Oh never a dull moment here I tell you doing is allowing myself to have like my own version of a cheat day and what that means I'm giving myself like a day because it's worked so well so far for you doing it by yourself. Like almost, no, over a decade for Amber and um, here we are. Yay. Different calorie limit. So I wanna stay below 2,500. So usually by doing that, I don't lose weight the next day. I usually stay the same, but this has helped me so much with staying on track. So that is my goal for today. Stay below 2,500. This is my version of like a cheat day. If I did not allow myself to do this and I constantly thought about how bad I wanted to eat, like this or that or extra things, that is when I binge. That is when I overeat. That is when I spiral for weeks on end. So, And that is when you go get professional help instead of trying to do it on your own. I found like a perfect compromise in the middle and I figured today would be a really good day to show you guys what I eat on a day where it's kind of like a cheat day. So none of my meals are going to make sense. I'm not having like a standard breakfast today. I will be eating processed foods. I will be eating on camera. It's just like tons of disclaimers, but I'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see. I can safely say that I have not been on track this consecutively in years. It has been years. And I also do wanted to kind of comment on like, um, were we expecting a whole lot of something else from Amber? I wasn't expecting to going like um, golf karting or, you know, walks on the beach or jumping jacks in the flower field or something, girl. <laughs> We've been in the same exact apartment now for months now. And before you moved here, you know, you were in your same apartment doing the same thing as you were doing then. So really expecting much. <laughs> That is why I feel safe to show you guys like what I'm eating because I'm in the right head frame, mindset, whatever it may be. Just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and what made me at 1.572 pounds. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna have, which I cannot pronounce, is cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. So it says on the back of the bag um, for stove top to use some oil. So I'm gonna be measuring the oil um, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters so i'm going to be cooking this in a pan okay so i have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen okay guys so i'm finished and i cooked this down a lot honestly to be fair i don't know what that even is but i was not expecting it to look that good after it got cooked to be honest with you <laughs> i was like oh that's kind of interesting but after it looks cooked girl that looks really good like a lot a lot because i like my food to be cooked so a lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that i added is like still in the pan but regardless this is 930 calories so on a day where i was trying to stick below 2000 i would not be eating this and if i did choose to do so i'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something okay so really quickly let's with that i really just now came to a conclusion amber is the definition of girl math but like 
with everything she does with you know over complicating over um compensating over like explanations like everything amber does is just girl math in real life and it's just now like that one instance of her trying to justify like numbers and stuff who oh, that really sold me <laughs> do a taste test that's good so i'm gonna easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10 i'm gonna go eat this oh i need a drink hold on so i'm gonna be having a water and a diet green tea lipton mixed berry so good you guys i'm not gonna lie to you but i cannot eat any more of this i'm not used to eating things like this anymore it's just like very rich it's delicious but like my stomach is like girl no more so I'm not gonna yeah i'm the same way with like deep dish pizza I, I love it it tastes absolutely amazing it's really good but just um i get kind of the feeling after eating a few bites of it which is really sad but like i understand the rest of that but i'm still going to consider it the full amount of calories i very much like to overestimate things just in case but i don't think i'm going to be eating for a hot minute because like i'm telling you no if you only ate like three-fourths of it like count it as three-fourths of it and not the whole thing because that's not what you eat though amber math will never make sense to me i swear it never will. doesn't feel the greatest after eating that see this is why it feels so much better to not have days where i eat things like that twinkie looks so cute speaking of twinkie you guys wanted an update on her she's doing amazing she took all her antibiotics she no longer has any abscess a lot of people were asking i know this is like i should probably talk about this in a vlog but since i'm here um a lot of people were like why didn't you take her to a primary vet he does have one here it's just i couldn't get her in in an emergency so i had to go somewhere else so i had that's why i had to go to an emergency vet because when i called they were like yeah we can see her in a few days and i'm like no 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 like i want like i was so worried i want her to be seen like now so then that's when they recommended the emergency very weird to go from you know the other one being like oh yeah we just got her a shot um you know she doesn't need to get fixed or whatever to amber actually going and getting her pet care very weird but like um it should be the bare minimum <laughs> see that that i actually went to which i loved and by the way the vet was a subscriber hello if you're watching and they didn't actually tell me mm, you had me up until <laughs> the vet was a subscriber uh, if that's not like the number one red flag for me never to go back to that vet again um if that is true because i very much have my doubts but um yeah i would never like no matter how nice they are that's fine but like real life youtube should definitely be separate in a lot of cases and i feel like whenever it comes to your pet's health that would definitely be a um red flag for me at least until after everything was said and done which i thought was like very professional and they were just like i love you i know who you are and i was like oh my god so she saw me like cry for twinkie because like when i had to sign this like paper for twinkie to be sedated like i literally had like a tear come down because it scared me because it's like i had to sign if i wanted them to like help her breathe if she stopped breathing or anything like that and i'm like uh yes and then i told my mom actually when we were leaving i was like i have met a lot of subscribers like easily over 100 like easily none of them has met twinkie besides one so yeah she was just super sweet and she loved twinkie so much and she was just so kind and helpful but yeah twinkie is doing amazing okay so the next thing i'm having is a serving of these rice cakes which is 30 grams so i already have that measured you actually get a lot for a serving not gonna lie and then i will be having six of these olives one of them is i have never in my life seen those kind of olives but yeah i really want to try them because they look massive 25 calories then i'm just having one pack this pack i just have it opened it's just some salami sticks which look like that they're actually super good okay so last minute i decided to just have four olives because i realized that they're pretty big they're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno so for this plate it does come out to 350 calories honestly this salami i know it looks weird but it's the best texture and it tastes so good and you really do get a lot of these little thingies and you guys know that i love a crunch all right so next thing i'm having are two of these pulled pork tamales it's 340 for one of them so 680 for two which so far I've had 1,960 calories today. All right, so here it is finished. So let's do a taste test. I'm hoping that it's good. I do love me a tamale. That's tasty. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. I do love tapatio. You guys know me, like tapatio girly pop. So I do want to try it with tap. A lot of people ask why I like tapatio so much. Actually. Probably because that she doesn't really have a lot of taste buds left. Um, But are we just going tapatio tap now? <laughs> Never heard of that in my life, but you know, just because she's so quirky and so special and unique. <laughs> I actually grew up with it. I've just used it as my go-to hot sauce since I was literally like eight years old. I did have a Sriracha era, but I love Tapatio. So with this, I am just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is this Trader Joe's Mac and Cheese. It is only 270 calories. 
So I have had this before, so no taste test, but this is delicious and I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna go warm this up in the microwave and enjoy. So I forgot to show it, but with my mac and cheese, I'm having a sparkling ice in black raspberry. This one is so freaking good. And I will say like sparkling ice has a collaboration going on with Starburst, I believe right now. Those are so good. God, now, great, now I want one, dang it. <laughs> so tired, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh, I took my melatonin, which this is the best. It's the brand Ollie. It's the Sleep. I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere. But I'm so tired. Wow. And I forgot to end this vlog. I had about 2,200 calories today. So I definitely was successful in staying under my 2,500. And by doing that, I allowed myself to have some of the foods that I probably wouldn't have had if I was eating like a healthier day, which is when I stay below 2,000. So it's been working for me. And I think that's all that matters. Okay, so Amber's cheat day is under 2,500. But then... Amber's health day would be below 2,000. Now, I don't know math that much, but just like that's basically um, not that much more calories than not, but I'm not a nutritionist, so what do I know, I guess? You know, there was a moment today where I was like, damn, I want takeout so bad, but I ignored it. So this is where the cheat day ends, and I'm getting back to below 2,000 calories tomorrow. And if you guys did make it this far, here's a secret weigh-in. I weighed in today at 488.0, so it is the lowest that I have weighed in a hot minute. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself, and I just want to keep it up. Obviously, I'm not doing perfect by no means, but I've definitely made a lot of improvement, and I have room to grow and be better. But I'm about to take off this hair makeup, I'm about to shower, I'm about to put my hair up, and then I'm about to go to bed. Now, I do want to say like, um, you know... It's been over a decade now. If you want to start any point, let me know because we haven't really gone anywhere. Well, I mean, the only place that we have gone is um, up and down on the scale, but you know, neither here nor there, I suppose. Because I am super tired. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, bye, girl. So there we go. Amber is trying to be a skinny legend again for like the 15,000th time on our channel, so I'll be honest. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.